Josh, Lisa and Alex, the Travel Taste Trio. In our last episode, we splurged at a vegan food market after our flight from Johannesburg to Cape Town. This is the thing. Today we're going sightseeing with the parents on the Cape Town sightseeing bus. So Alex, you're screaming. How does it feel? All the way in the front. What do you have to say? You can't have seen us. Any, any wise words? And that's all folks. Because the wind was really strong, we decided to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. All the churches that were in Cape Town were doing their sermons in Dutch, but the Germans wanted their own one. So they built that church so that they could do their sermons in German, which is still being done today in German, their sermons, so pretty interesting. Lisa, that would be table master. This vineyard that we're at is actually known as Groot Constantia and it's known to be the very first vineyard where the very first grape was planted in South Africa. We just got off our long trip on the bus and we're gonna go get some food from the VNA waterfront market. Hopefully, we can find something delicious. That's fine. All right, guys. Uh, so, we have an Asian dish here. Uh, it's got edamame beans, peanut sauce on it. It looks like this is like cashews on it. What is it? No, no, pistachios. And it's got like a tofu, beetroot, sticky rice on the bottom with carrots, and this is uh, I think cucumber or zucchini. It's got avo. It's got uh, you know peanut sauce. I think I've probably mentioned that a few times, but this looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go for it. The sauce is so strong. With the soya and the peanut and the fresh veg, the crunch. It's so powerful in flavor. It's so delicious. It makes you think it's healthy, but it's probably not as healthy as it could be with all the salt and delicious things they put on it. But it's so delicious. Full of flavor, crunchiness. You still taste the freshness of the veg, so it's not like stored forever. This really is a top notch with serving top-notch meal what do you think he approves <laughs> are you ready Drink. Wow, full of flavor. It hits you just the right ways. Even Alex likes it. <laughs> 
wow, 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 wow. The amount of detail in just everything. Like, look at this tissue. They have the company picture on it, but because it's a cute picture, it just works. And then they have this paper that's like a really thin piece of paper that they put underneath. And then they give it to you in this bamboo plate. Again, also the spoon, everything about the display just is already just like 10 out of 10. So what we have here is we have some um, vegan kimchi. We've got some cabbage, some beans, uh, some corn and these cauliflower sort of um, fried balls and then at the bottom we have uh, rice basically I can't wait to dig into this it just looks so good they gave you these sauces in little containers okay just look at this like wow all the colors it just looks so delicious. Mm. The kimchi is 10 out of 10. Hot, spicy, salty, sour. And then we have this like, it's like this vegetable. Um, it's basically like a, sort of spinach that they marinate for a long time and it just has this like sourish taste to it. A bit like kimchi but different. Mm. That's so hot warming. That's like a, a dish from home. <laughs> now let's try this cauliflower ball. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just the cauliflower that they like. I think they basically put flour around it, like a potato starch flour, and then they fried it. But it's really, really good. And combined with the sour taste of this kimchi and the rice, 100%. It's like a really warm hearted meal. All the heads, the guts of the fish, the little fins, they make fish meal of it. They reckon the fish meal, yeah. if they sell it, it covers the whole fleet's fuel cost. What? Just, that's that's just the, the just fish the meal. That's the not that's not the fish. 
there's always things that break, always. Fuel, and that's the most. And how big is the crew then? Um, on, a, on a boat like this, um, easy 50. That is a uh, tug, tug boat, um, deep sea salvage. In 1976, there were two of them built exactly the same. This one was the John Ross and the Vorad Voltemarder. They were then the strongest super tugs in the world. This one was built in Durban, Emma and Bell. And the, the Vorad Voltemarder, she came from Dublin. Oh, wow. That's how it worked. But this one was always the better one. The, yeah. The, the Vora Volamada has, is cut up for scrap exactly like that one <laughs> and this one is still running <laughs> Recovery, anything towing these containers of towing pull you off the rocks This baby she does it Wow In all the salvages, all the captains that was on the boat yeah. that captain her through the years they put their inserts in the book uh -huh. She never failed once in her salvage since 1976 Uh -huh. Millions of small sardines earrings came in. You could you could catch them like that. You didn't really? need a net, and they used up much of the oxygen, all the oxygen. So they died oh. off. Most of them died off. Went to the seabed, and they are starting to decay now. That's why the water is this color. Oh, so don't let them tell you uh, the milk trucks yeah. fell in the water, <laughs> and they had to drain the milk out. Thank you so much, that was so informative. Okay. Thank you, I really like enjoyed it. it. Enjoy your day, bye! Thank you. Thank you. 